So this Guyanese Indian, she going to speak on racism from the Guyanese Indian to black people. Because we all know it's going on all over the Caribbean, okay, wherever they at. Whether it's Trinidad Indian, Jamaican Indian, Guyanese, they all are racist towards black people. So as a Guyanese uh, West Indian woman, I actually just wanted to add my two cents on this because growing up back home, uh, my family was one of two Indian families in a predominant uh, black village. And we were always thought to you know respect our elders regardless of the skin tone you respect everyone around you you know my best friends were black we went to school with everyone who were black um and i don't think my grandpa even really knew why he did not want like you were allowed to be besties his best friends were black our neighbors were black you know when we kill our animals for christmas time we don't feed half the village but he never he always used to preach like you never marry a black person and I don't think we really truly knew why we felt that way. Um, obviously, now looking back, slavery, um, because we were the lighter skin slaves, you know, the slaves that came from Africa were meant to feel that we were superior to them because of our skin tone. But a slave is a slave is a slave is a slave. And all of my aunts and uncles later went on to marry a black man or woman and so all my cousins are you know biracial or or dougla for the Guyanese people um that's what we called a biracial person you're dougla and so i don't think he fully knew why he was supposed to feel that way but he did and i mean like i said all of my cousins are mixed um except for me my mom married a Guyanese indian person so you know but i mean even as a Guyanese indian person i'm like 12% black so <laughs> there's the mixture happened whether we liked it or not but it's it was just interesting for me because I never felt like it was racially profiling back home you know we break bread with them we they invite everyone over we have parties we sit down we, we conjugate with them we go to their weddings they come to our weddings like you know we were very much immersed in each other's cultures and so it it never felt um like the North American version of racially profiling someone or racism. It never felt that way. But of course, you know, it's, it's obviously still a version of that to say that you can be best friends with them and, you know, we can grow up our entire lives with them. But, oh, you can't marry that person because they're black. I don't think it ever really had anything to do with, you know, your skin tone. Because especially in, in Guyana, like, it's a Caribbean country. <laughs> it's very hot. Everyone is a, have some level of mel melatonin going on. Um, I think we just have to thank slavery for that. You know, thank the white people for conditioning us and, and putting us to fight against each other. Because even to this day, the black and the Indians are fighting and we don't know what we're fighting for. But it's just interesting, you know, South American versus North America, how you look at things. So, anyways, that's my two cents on it.